it's a great segue for us to jump into the formula of our show here. So I don't know if, if I, I nabbed out one of your misses, but uh, was there another miss you thought you'd like to share with the audience? Something you learned from it there? Yes, sure. Um, one of the misses, maybe a small miss, but if people are listening, I recommend start as an entrepreneur as early in your life as you can, because I'm a late starter. <laughs> <laughs> the good news, however, is it's never too late. You know, uh, you've got people even starting in their fifties in business, and they're, they're doing actually fine. But it takes a lot of energy to build a business from 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 scratch. So uh, that's the one thing. I, if I look back, I think I wish I'd done that a little bit earlier. And another miss is when we got in what's known as the white waters. You know, when it gets rough and you feel I'm seriously out of control, because we grew faster than we could handle. And the tendency is because you get in a kind of stress loop is, oh, I have to work harder. Oh, I have to work longer. And that's really dangerous because number one, you get stupid. And number two, uh, you bring your whole life work balance, you know, goes off kilter. So that was really a miss. And, uh, you know, th this is where people could get run into a burnout, you know, or you get, you, you lose your marriage. I mean, my marriage fortunately survived it. But it's definitely been that my wife didn't see a lot of me for a number of years. And yeah, that's something you don't want to have as a permanent feature. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a great, great advice. Uh, absolutely. And the, the burnout's real. You know, I, I know that the audience, especially when you're first starting those first couple of years, three years, I mean, you're working long hours, a lot, and, and uh, it, it's easy to get into that cycle for sure, for sure. Yeah. 